All right, I'm going to do a review today on this local church Bible Publishers Note Takers edition. I've featured this a uh, few times in other videos um, offhand, but never have I focused on it by itself in a video. So I felt like uh, it'd be a good time to do that. You know, it's, it's a popular edition with a lot of people. I know I bought one from my pastor years ago. And uh, he loves it, still uses it. So this is the executive series, which is the uh, iron calf skin. And it's the three piece. And you can see the stitching there. And this really, really well done. Um, the inside is, uh, it looks like it's leather lined. It might be imitation leather, but it's really buttery soft. You can you know, fold that right in and it still looks really good and it's got a family history section and all that with the family tree and all that good stuff and here's your title page and you can see the uh, item number 400 executive series three piece black and this one is February 2011 so that's when this one was made. And you can see the translators to the reader in the very front, which is pretty normal for them. But the, the really cool thing about this Bible is, of course, the way it's laid out. They, they advertise it as a nine-point font, and I'm going to agree with that. It's uh, really crisp. It's got pretty good line spacing. And you can see it there. There's not a there's a minimal amount of ghosting on the page, and the margin size, of course, you have one column uh, that's blank. So it's not quite half the page, but it is a good size. I would say that there's a little more space on this side with the text than there is on that side. So it's not quite half the page, but it's a good size margin. So if you're a pastor or Someone who likes to do a lot of studying and taking a lot of notes. This is a good Bible to have. Um, the Cambridge wide margin is going to cost you somewhere around 130, maybe more, 150, 60 dollars. Yeah, it's like 165. Whereas this one, you know, around 70, you know, maybe 75 with the shipping. So you're going to save a little money, and you'll have just as much if not more note-taking space i haven't measured out you know how, how big the margins are if you do this all the way around as opposed to this but the good thing about it is you can write out directly beside each verse so that's kind of a neat little thing and as far as i know church publishers is the only publisher that, that even produces a bible like this and there you can see the and reading from it isn't difficult. I don't imagine you would do it. would be your first choice as far as just sitting and reading a Bible. But if uh, you were someone, that's why they call it the note taker's Bible because that's exactly what it was designed for. And I talked to Brother Dennis that runs a uh, local church years ago when this first came out, and he was explaining to me how he had personally designed this layout. And it was one of their biggest sellers at the time. And I don't know if it still is, but um, I've had this one, you know, since it came out in, in 11, 2011. And as you can see, I haven't written in mine, but um, I kind of fell in love with the 110, the Cambridge Cameo with the margin, and I, I started writing my notes in that. But uh, I do keep an extra one of these around, because you never know, you might run across somebody that wants it or needs it so and fortunately i have one here so i can film this this is a concordance and i haven't really gone through it in great detail to be honest but it looks fairly large and i'm going to say that it is fairly large because i've grabbed two nice chunks and three now so i'm coming toward the end of it so it's a fairly fairly good concordance in this and you got some blank pages here if I'm not mistaken yeah there's 
two or three, like you would even need them, but they're there. And they use these old Cambridge maps in the back here. Nothing real, real spectacular. Uh, nothing very detailed, to be sure. But um, they don't even have the headings on them. Yeah, they do. Empires of the Old Testament. There you go. So, this, uh, I would say this is mainly for, you know, for the text. It's the selling point on this Bible here. And, of course, the, the binding is just immaculate. I mean, you got the raised hubs on the spine, and they look great. And just the, uh, the stitching all the way around. You can tell this thing's been put together very very nicely and even when it's opened it's still floppy you can see well i'm gonna try you can see if i open it i can fold it in like that the whole bible so i can fold it roll it and there's your paper rolled up not i'd give the paper a, a b plus i mean it's definitely not bad paper i haven't written in it so i couldn't tell you what the bleed through would be like if you were to use it, but I have seen my pastors, and I, he's got little sticky notes and all kind of stuff in his, and it's still holding up really well. And um, so he's the only person I've seen really actually use one of these in any great detail. But um, I just thought I would do a short little review on this, and um, if anyone's interested in it, of course, local church Bible publishers has their website, and it's uh, you know four or five pages. I think you got to click through to get to it, but uh, and their their pictures aren't the best, <clears throat> so I felt like anyone who really was interested in one, this would be a good way for them to see it up close and personal. It's a really well put together Bible. I don't think you'd be disappointed in the craftsmanship of it at all. Of course, it comes with two ribbons. I forgot to mention that. So there's your local church Bible publisher's note taker in three-piece calfskin in the executive series thank you for watching please subscribe if you haven't already i hope this has been helpful maranatha